Welcome back! In this video we need to download this box image and any logo file you want to see on the sides of this box. Let's get started. First of all we need to create a new empty layer by clicking on this plus down here and open the logo file. Let's just copy this layer by using rectangular marquee tool. We select it and just common C. Copy that and after we're gonna go back to our box and when we are on this layer we're gonna go to the filter and over to vanishing point. On this workspace we need to select this one it's already selected and just click on this corner another one and a third one which allows us to map out the fourth corner. After that we click on this area and press command V and this is our logo. So we need to change the size of this logo by pressing T and just drag with shift and change the place and let's make it smaller with shift and place it right over here. And the same job we make with this side we select this tool, create plane tool, and one point, next point, third point, and fourth point, and command V. Again, T, change the size with shift, and let's change the size with shift, and place it right over here. And within the borders of this plane, we can change the size too with shift and place it right over here. We can add some decoration like, like this. Again, command V and let's make it more interesting. And after you've done, just hit OK. Let's make it more realistic. Here we can do whatever we want with blending modes. Let's use multiply mode with 80% of opacity. If you want to transform it, you can select this layer and with command or control T, you can shift it as you want. With the warp mode and by simply dragging these middle lines you can make it more precisely than by using an ordinary transform tool. Like this. And we'll hit OK. And you can save it and place right in your portfolio. In the next lesson we're gonna make this effect but with the text and on the road. And we will know about a superpower called blend if. See you in the next video.